So the next material I want to show you is weathered wood. We're gonna try and make this wall from some old wooden planks or something like that. So I'm gonna go to CG textures and look for planks. All right, there's a category planks dirty. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so let's try this one here. I'm gonna download the large size and open it in Photoshop. Okay, so now we have to make it tileable horizontally. I'm gonna crop it and try to ma match my image borders with the seams between the planks. Like this. And same on the other side. All right. So this is a nice basic diffuse map. And we can probably save it and use it as it is. And now we need to create a displacement map here. So first step, I'm going to create a new layer and fill it with medium gray color. Okay, I'm going to lower the opacity for now, just so I can see through to the lower layer. Now we're going to create some uh, dark lines for the displacement to work correctly. I'm going to use a simple brush. Let's set the diameter or the size to 5 pixels. And with black color on a new layer. Okay, and this is a bit too big. I'm gonna try 3 pixels. And just shift drag up and down until you have a nice, a nice thick black line. Okay, you can press the control and move your layer around with the arrow keys. All right, duplicate the layer. Move to the next space and keep doing the same thing until you have all the seams created. Okay, so here I want just half of the line to be visible. You can move the layer faster if you press the shift key as well. This moves it 5 pixels instead of 1. So make the large jumps with shift pressed and then the fine control is achieved by releasing the shift and moving the layer by 1 pixel.
Okay, so once you've covered all the seams, you're ready to create the displacement map. Okay, so I'm gonna merge all the seams together like this. I'm gonna duplicate the background layer and desaturate it. And leave it like this. Right, let's try it out. Okay, so back in 3D Max, I'm going to create a new mirror material. So first, let's set, set up our diffuse map. Okay, so here it is. Open it up. Enable a new port and see how it looks on the wall. Need to increase the tiling quite a bit. It's all stretched out right now. Okay, maybe like that. Go a bit closer. And let's assign... Okay, first let's copy the diffuse map to reflect slot. Paste copy. Change the bitmap to this one here. Bring down the glossiness, maybe something like 0.45. And enable Freno with something like 4 as value. Okay. And I'm going to try and copy the same. Actually, no, I'm going to first create a new map with more contrast. I'm going to just hide this gray, gray layer here. And I'm going to save this map. This is going to be my glossiness map. So I'm gonna try some lighter seams for this one. And maybe more contrast. Glossiness maps work better with bright images. Dark images make the reflections too blurry. Right, maybe something like this. Okay, let's copy the reflect map to glossiness as well. And change the texture to this one. I'm also going to reduce the strength of the reflection glossiness to something like 50. Right, so I think this should work okay. Okay, so paste in the bump and displacement slots as well. I'm going to change the displacement to the displacement texture. I'll reduce the blur. And maybe try it at 1.0. Okay. I'm going to try a bit higher bump value and reduce the blurring here as well.
right let's see how it looks okay so there you have it a nice old wooden material you can use this for walls fences decks or wherever you would find this sort of weathered wood